the reading basically rely on activity of the two roots of the auditory or auditory phonology and the visual orthography roots, okay? Yes. Now, and of course, the, inter the integration between the two. Yeah, which is, the <clears throat> which is a lot more complex in different orthographies. Absolutely, absolutely, exactly. The, the requirement is very. So, but basically, whether we are talking about Hebrew, Arabic, Semitic languages, or any Roman languages, language, I mean, basically, uh, the, we, you have to see the symbol on the printed material, and you have to make some kind of acoustic uh, right. um, representation. So it can be in any language. And right. of course, the matching between the visual symbol and the acoustic phonological one is not only rely on the accuracy of the correspondent, but also on the time that those modality are processing the information. Right, so both at, mm -hmm, and so at the level that the, the, the time it takes in a purely phonetic system to, to get the association between the visual and the auditory, and then in a, in a non-phonetic uh, where there's a great uh, contextual variation in the sound value that accompanies a letter, exactly. then, then there's more processing uh, time it takes to associate those two correctly. Exactly. It's actually a normal cause. Now, yes. in, we know from, from biology, yeah, from neurobiology, that one, in one uh, modality is processing information on a different uh, time scale than the other one. Yes. Okay? That we know, evidently. What really affects the process is the gap between the processing speed of the two modalities. A larger gap, like what we found among the dyslectic readers, yes? Yes. Doesn't affect an appropriate matching between the sound and the, and the visual symbol, okay? Doesn't allow, it, it, it causes mismatch between the two. It goes too slow for the stream to cohere. Exactly, because you know everything has to be fast enough because we are processing information within the limitation of the information processing system. So there is a fading out in the working memory, the place where it has to be matched together because one modality is processed in a faster speed compared to the other one. So what effect actually an appropriate template to be stored is the gap of what we call the asynchrony. That's why I call yes. it an asynchronous. No, it's, it's exactly the right term. I get it completely.